always leaking after. They have to get the right thing to put there to get that water leak fixed. Water does be glushing down in the road like that. You know? That is where the old police station was, right on the hill in St. Madeline there. Before the steep hill, a matter of fact. Not on the hill itself, before the steep hill. And as you did a video, I want you to compare that one to the other one. To the church people. Right? And see where right is right and wrong is wrong. If it's not good for a few people, why it must be good for so many people? Look how was, there was the, the people who were praying. They were still distanced from each other. One one standing here, one one standing there. Look at that protest. It's a very unfair thing for God people. Boy, but we just have to live and believe in our God that he's going to work things out for us. Alright, so join me on YouTube and join me on Facebook and you will see the video that I did on Saturday. On Saturday, I did a video of the protests, all the protesters. So join me back on Facebook and on YouTube and you will see um, the video that I did. Alright, so if you join me now, you will see the video. So um, let me play the video in the meanwhile while I wait for you to join me. I'm still going to play the video so that you can see it and you can have an idea of what took place on on Saturday. All right. Okay, what's happening here? All right, so I'm going to show you the video of what I did on Saturday. You remember you can join me on Facebook and on YouTube. If you want to see the video, you can join me on Facebook and on YouTube and you want to see the video of um of what took place in San Fernando. So the protesters and they believe that um they won. All right? That's what the protesters and they believe that they won. But I am looking at the... I was looking at the attendance. All right? I was looking at the attendance on, 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 on Saturday. The attendance was no lot, you know. Trinidad and Tobago. The attendance wasn't all that at all. You know what I mean? So, it's up to you to see it. If you come on, you're going to see it. And uh, if you're going to talk, tell me what are your views about it. Do you think that, um, you think, you, would you, what are your thoughts? All right, I'm going to show you also videos of the protests and, like, when the, the police was there. Apart from that, I'll show you also where... One of the protesters um, one of the protesters tried to walk away. So this is the video. I'm gonna share the video now. So this is me, this is my journalistic video of what took place on Saturday. So come on the live and you're gonna see it and you're gonna tell me what are your thoughts about it. All right, so when you jump on the live, you're going to see it, and you're going to tell me what are your thoughts. So this is the video here. This is my video, actually. I taped this on my phone. So this is where they were up um, on the promenade. And you can see the protesters gathering. They say and they come to pray. No, wait, wait. I want to pull back this video here. I want to pull it back and I want to stop it at a particular point. 
for you to see something here. So these gentlemen here that are talking, I want you to watch the T-shirt that they have on. These gentlemen here are from the OWT. Now, it's strange, yeah, because you all are there from the OWTU, and the gentleman, one of the gentlemen who organized this match, when he was asked if he was going to another event where the OWTU are, he said, no, I'm not going there. And said, so, oh, there's a PNM, no, he said. And it's just to show you the level of, I don't know, People just sick. People just sick. All right, what I want to show you. So I'm going to continue to show you the video. If you're looking on Facebook and on YouTube. So this is my video. This is, this is the protesters that were there on Saturday. And you're looking at them. This is on Harris Promenade. Now... For me, basically, I knew that Harris Promenade, all up there were blocked off with railings. Eh? Just like in Port on Port of Spain, you can't walk on the promenade in Port of Spain. It's blocked off. Alright? But, in San Fernando, those are the protesters gathering. Um, Alright? Gathering. Um, and, and, uh, so that's, that's the protesters there. To me, they had a very poor turnout. Very, very poor turnout. Right? Very poor. But, um, apart from that, so let me, I'm going to show you some videos also of what took place. Gonna show you some videos of what took place. Um on Saturday, I'm giving you some highlights on what took place on Saturday. Right, giving you some highlights and play this voice note. Yeah, Google. Them fellas and them anything they associate themselves is always boss and there's hack controversy and bacchanal, you know. Cause if you remember, I don't know if you could remember the when they tried the million man march down here with them three musketeers and this is smart man gladiator it boss and it had a real back and all concerning money then the first incarnation of the black caucus them same fellas and all was on board and board and board and you see what go on all right they have a pattern yeah yep let's let me show you some other videos of what took place and um it's a, and what the caller is saying, you know, huh, you see, you come to my hometown, you cuss me on the radio, you say all sorts of nasty things about me, and you expect San Fernando people to support you? Are you good, yes? Not serious. Yeah, so, I want to show you this video. And, um, so you need to come on the live, and you'll see some more videos. All right. In the meanwhile, uh, while if you wait for the video to come up, I can take some calls on three four two zero zero eight one three four two zero zero eight one. All right. You have a caller. Hello. Good afternoon. Yeah. Good afternoon, Pastor Google. Good afternoon. Um, let us say, um, shout out to all. Happy Valentine's Day to all the, um. Happy Valentine's Day to all the listeners. You know, I hope you have a good day. And probably uh, happy birthday to the Kings. Yeah, I hear the Kings is for today. Today's so Kings birthday. Happy birthday. I think so. That's what they say. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, that's it's, it's, it's very <laughs> disheartening, I know. Personally, you see me as an aspiring person who probably have ambition. I really don't want to go in politics again, you know, because the amount of pressure and pushback that I see right now. These people could turn you off, you know, that they don't want to go into politics, you know. You know? And um, let me tell you something, apart from what, remember I told you about the so-called protests in Canada with the truckers and them? Do you know that we see a similar 
thing that took place which transpired that over the weekend too with the same chuckers. Yeah. I said, you're sorry, but it's with the girl, but, but I am not fool. It is all part of the pushback movement with the, with the, with the jabbing, with the anti jabbing, the anti jabbing. So, they don't fool anybody with that. They're just using that. They just use it as a piggyback to the pushback movement. Right? If people don't see that, well, that's too bad. But I don't know about it. I just hope that Mr. Dan, Dr. Roddy just make his tenure until 2025. And don't pressure the man and call a known general elections. The opposition had the opportunity to see what they could do for the local elections this year. That's a good, we have a good day. All right. So, to get into highlights of what took place, listen to this. While I understand Andy's passion, I want you all to respect that it, it, it will be considered as though we're going on a march. So I just and it's not legal. Nice to meet you. So while Andy has that view, and I share his passion and sentiment, I'm asking us today because we've had a very great day. Let us depart. Let us go in peace. If you want to go to high street and shop, you're free to go and do that. But we, I am not recommending that. I am saying to you, let us get back to our home. The police has shown us the respect. And I want us to show the police the same respect. This is not a battle. This is not a fight. This is a working together to, be, to build our country in unison. So I am saying to you, I want you all to leave and go back to your homes safely. I want to thank all of you for being here today. And while I know Andy may not agree with me, I am appealing to you as the organizer, as the leader of this, to say to you, if you came here and you want to go to high street and shut go right ahead. But this is not about following no 10 foot and, and groups and all of that. Let us leave this promenade as we came. We came I agree. And let us leave it. I agree, I agree at all. The next location that we will be at is Shogona. We will give it a Yesterday, well, I just want to reinforce and, and of course, um, I make this because there are, there are some things Right, so let me go back to the phone lines. Hello, good afternoon. Good morning, sorry. Let me good morning. Good afternoon, good afternoon, sorry. Yeah, small thing on your time. Me up to the dealership. Yeah, that's not. Why does what? What is the question? Not again, really. Wait, wait. What? What? What is the question? They're alone. They're alone. They are alone. Wait, wait, this, um, nonsense. Because first, COVID wasn't real, right? Then the vaccine's not real. Well, I wait to hear if it gets not real. Is it understand? Until they reach that metaphysical height to say, well, the dying is not real. And you know, in the early when the place was locked down. They are against the lockdown. The place open up, they are against the open up. The place open, um everybody having dress all over the place. Just the other day I passed a couple of dress. They break for carnival. They went to what the government wants to experiment with the vaccine. What, what, what is this pushback thing about? And who does the interest in it? What is this all about? For me, it's just bigotry, stupidity, hate for hate for Dr. Rowley, hate for the PN. And that's all I can see this thing about. I doesn't be really interested in what I'm at all. Then you just pass up a junior for the Thank you very much. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Pastor Google. Good afternoon. I have been not to be able to see the video. I think I saw something at noon. And as far as I can tell, it turned out was very poor. Very poor. Very, very poor. And I was only wondering whether or not that they would have. Just jump over and call Dr. Rowley's name. But I think that he said from that, somewhere or the other, they try to make it look in the pushback that they were against the vaccine, and this is what they were pushing back. But clearly they attempted a political move that was a failure. Pastor Google, I don't know if you would allow me to make a, a little observation here on our other issue. Right? If you go, uh, 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 yeah, it, I'll be very tricky. Pastor Google, I noticed that um, really the watchman has observed and asked the former commissioner some questions 
and he has not replied to it, am I to believe that where it, known as Watchman, is hitting below the belt of the former commissioner, or he afraid to answer the inspection, such as people falling off of chairs and people being killed with their hands up in the air in the mobile issue. And a lot of other questions were put to him, and you were told that he didn't even spend one good day in the barracks. He's a soldier, and he has no real authority on police business. And he has a lot of questions to answer. A lot, 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 lot. Pastor Guru, I want to hear him reply to that, because the mouth running all over the place now, talking about political interference in the police. Pastor Gugler, we're done with it. All police commissioners must report to the Minister of National Security because he would be called to explain his tenure and what has taken place under his jurisdiction. So that is foolishness with Gary Griffith, the civilians. Shut up if you don't want to talk or answer where it is. We don't want to hear you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. So, Mr. Paul Espin is alluding to a voice note I'll play after lunch. After the after 1 o'clock. I'll play that voice note after 1 o'clock. All right? Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Pastor Google. Pastor Google, I see the man, man, Mr. Who put us in. Where he could go and rock in the rocking chair. <laughs> rock in the rocking chair. We want Dr. Roddy go home. He, he should have gone before. And rock in the rocking chair with grandchildren if he had any. And then pass a go in Douglas, in, you know, in St. Mary's, St. Mary's, that was protesting over the road. But not what, sir. In them big truck with the, the parting on the road. And I suppose if them passing on the road in big truck, they're supposed to get a picture for their own self. For the, because them who marching on the road, not in water. Have a pleasant day. Bye bye. All right. So on Saturday, as I, I'm showing you highlights on what took place on Saturday in San Fernando, give you an idea mm -hmm. that at the end of the day, it, it didn't make any sense, you know, waste people time waste police energy time and energy so i want you all to hear this i wanted to hear this quickly before we go for the ads listen to this discussion here come together all right i go walk for everybody oh, don't move i go walk yeah all right that's how we gotta do it if anybody walk guy lock up die trouble i walk in by myself as a citizen yeah. So they come in with it. No, no, I walk in by myself. I'm not leaving no marks. Constitutionally. I know, I, I, I know, but I need to say you ain't gonna get locked up. All right, well, lock up for what? Walking by myself? Well, well, you never could tell. They could create the conditions because, as I tell you, this, 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 a person coming into a march and this, this rocking it. Mm. The police could enter the window. Right, well, well. They could twist it as they want. Of course, you could, you go within court, but the damage would have already been done in terms of confining your. Your, your your freedom and so on. Right, so I just woke up myself. Right, I don't I don't know what I woke up myself. Yeah. We woke up but we are the stuff. No, but keep away. Don't let you take a match here. Right? So I go walk by myself. Yeah, man. Yeah. Guru. Guru. Games, 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 games and more games. I told us I pray. I told us I pray. You come to pray. Games. God don't like ugly, you know. God is not a God of games. Right? Games they're playing. Games. Robert Amar is a bitter old fat. That is all. Bitter, 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 bitter old man. I hope you're listening. Alright, so the views of the callers and the views of the street, 919 FM, neither the announcer or management. Going now for a break and come back. When you come back, I'll play the voice note from Mr. Um, I'll play the voice note from Mr. Watchman. Oh, can 
stand against the Lord. No one can. No one will. Who can stand against the King? No one can. No one will. Victory belongs to him. Oh, 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 victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Say who can stand? Who can stand against the Lord? No one can.22 <laughs> defend the <laughs> culture thank god i'm free again oh. the 24 we come in to play oh. song for you know is the place so oh. chance tell me where you drink in, oh. we drink in, oh. it's all about chance february 24th make sure i be yeah, because they don't know it's a super shell of a fear. Yeah, man, pretty sick. Season 22, Defend We Culture at Sound Forge. The spirit was mine! There's a new taste in town. Maracas Bake and Shark at 79 Robert Street in Woodbrook brings you Bake and Shark, Kingfish, Fries, Shrimp, Alu Pies, and delectable sauces to tease your taste buds. Walk in, order with Food Drop, or get parking lot pickup at 488 Bake or 75 Shark. Need catering? No problem. Call or email tastemaracas at gmail.com. Follow Taste Maracas on social media for all the delicious details. Taste Maracas, the new taste in town. Corner of Roberts and Rosalino Street. See you soon. Every Friday, it's all about Fire Mood Soccer Fridays with MCU Consulator Kochi from 6 straight to 9 p.m. Blazing all the latest and past soccer hits. So remember, make it a line, make it a day, rock and come in, you know. It's all about Fire Mood Soccer Fridays on the Street 919 FM. Don't know. Season 22, <laughs> Defend We Culture. Drop your keys and bow your knees For I am the best for your slick night rubber February 22nd to 28th I am here to defend my culture Season 22 I am here to introduce you to season 22 Defend we music We have soccer, we have pal, we have calypso We even have the doubles man At Sound Forge, <laughs> culture lives on To make sure my culture lives and not just survive. Season 22, February 22nd to 28th at Sound Force. The spirit was live on! Shock.
shop at New City Mall and check out our premium selection of high quality clothing and accessories for men and women. Save on all items with competitive prices and courteous service throughout the entire mall. New City Mall is located in the heart of Port of Spain with entrances at 3 Charlotte Street and number 41 Independence Square. We offer a variety of shirts, long and short sleeve, round and v-neck tops, vests, caps, hats, sunglasses, briefs, boxes, shorts, swim trunks, denim, jeans, long and three quarters, socks, sneakers, casual and athletic, shoes, dressy and fashionable, dresses, formal and casual, skirts, lingerie, undergarments, and a wide range of accessories. Come check us out as we also have clothing and accessories like Levi's, Clarks, Armani Exchange, Hollister, American Eagle, Ralph Lauren, Nike Air Force and Air Max, Puma, Adidas, Timberland, Academics, Aeropostale, Old Navy, Forever 21, Haynes, Dockers, Guess, Converse and so much more. We have barbers, hairstylists, as well as weave and wigs on sale. All at New City Mall. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Sale, sale, sale. If you're experiencing pain, constipation, headaches, poor blood circulation, high or low blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, swollen or darkened feet, come visit us at Health and Wealth Lifestyle, located at 73 Eastern Main Road, Barataria, opposite Eastern Credit Union. We at Health and Wealth Lifestyle offer a wide range of services. Come and experience our new 3D analyzer, which allows you to have a look inside your body. We also provide live blood analysis, iridology, ionic foot detox with foot soap and foot massage, aqua therapy, full body massage and organic supplements on sale such as nano silver, nano zinc, body light, cold press sesame oil and more. Health and Wealth Lifestyle located at number 73 Eastern Main Road Barataria opposite Eastern Credit Union. For more information call 275-8359 or 288-1108. Join Nicole for health and wealth lifestyle every Monday from 9.05 a.m. to 9.55 a.m. right here on the street 919 FM. From the studio to the stage every Friday between 3 to 4 p.m. right here on the street 919 FM. Radio you can see. Log on to our Facebook and YouTube so you can see live interviews and performances from some of our very own local superstars. Right here on the street, 919 FM. Turn your lights down low. Listen to the Master's Radio. The Church of the Firstborn Assembly of Numbers 399 Eastern Main Road, Waiko Sangri Grandi, is pleased to present Pastors Morris and Agnes Johnson and guest. Sundays, Tuesdays and Friday night, Sunday Ministry of Worship, Children Hour and the Word from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Tuesdays, see Jesus in every book of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Tuesday morning from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And Friday night, 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. All night prayer for our nation. Tell your neighbors, tell your friends, tell everyone. For further information, visit with us at www.churchofthefirstbornassembly.org or on Facebook. Facebook. Email us at church668hope at gmail.com or call us at 753-1113 or 236-7271. Your free gifts and offerings will be greatly appreciated at Church of the Firstborn Assembly, account number 795222 at the First Citizens Bank. Get in touch with God. 
Share the line. Share the line. The Street 919 FM on Facebook and Instagram. Share the line. Iowa George on Instagram. Share the line. Iowa TV and Street Street TV on YouTube. Share the line. The Street 919 FM. All right, as I promise you, I'm going to play for you the statements made by Mr. Watchman, uh, Mr. Wade Head. I'm going to play that for you now, and then when you come back after that, I'm going to take your calls and hear your views on it. All right, so let me play this voice note for you from Mr. Wade Head asking some questions of the former commissioner of police. Today is the 9th of February, 2022. And this is the watchman. As a citizen of Trinidad and Tobago, I am accustomed to hearing many stories about incidents happening on the waters between Trinidad and Venezuela. And it's usually Trinidadians who face the brunt of all kind of misfortune that takes place out there. Well, I think I'm playing the wrong thing. Um, I wonder if that is it. All right, I'm gonna try and see if I find the one with the questions. Good afternoon, Pastor Google to be in the house. Happy and happy Valentine's Day to you and all my 919 fans. Well, today is more than happy Valentine's Day to me. Today it makes 32 years since me and my husband together. <clears throat> so you can play something nice for us, please. Right, Pastor Google? But right, Pastor Google, push back nothing. Push back nothing. People starting to realize what they on. People starting to realize what they on, Pastor Google. So they just go out there and make themselves a fool. But Pastor Google, you see how much police Mr. Jacob and them sent out up in San Fernando. When I saw that video, I swear it was a police parade. You swear it was a police parade. So they get the message. They get the message so they stay home. It must be, it must be only hard. must be five person on that esplanade. They look like five bachak. Eh? Push back nothing. And this thing they want to think with Dr. Rowley. Well, Dr. Rowley in the, in the, in the, in the, in the senior years, making two and half of them can himself make one. You go, Mr. Doctor, um, Dr. Rowley, don't study them and their stupidness. So, Pastor Google, I locked on and listening, darling. Thank you very much. When I heard that video that Miss, Miss, um, Tobago talking about, and I heard who it was coming from. Somebody who, looking at you in a straight, a straight face, that person was looking at you with a straight face and telling you that they were not in a video. Eh? In, a, in room 201, it wasn't them. That person, you know, is telling you they watch a pity and they know that I was done. That had to be Dr. Rowley. I am like, are you serious, Bridget? You should not. He should be the last person to talk to this nation. The last person. And that's what I say about Trinidad and Tobago. When somebody like Anil Roberts could come and talk to you, do a press conference, and we ask, and the media running with that. He have questions to answer. Eh? And you know what? We accept that. We taking that. Hook, line, and sinker. Clowns coming on the Facebook page to ask me questions based on the nonsense. So George Wilson... All morning, posting up this rubbish. He has, George Wilson have nothing else to do with his life. George Wilson will not ask Anil Roberts questions. Anil Roberts was the same one, you know. Who have questions to answer, you know. 
But you know what we will do? Because George Wilson and them have nothing else to do in their life but to throw questions at me. I am not Dr. Rowley's son. I am not the PRO for the Prime Minister. So when George Wilson taking time out, and, who, and let me tell you something, eh? George Wilson, and I call in his name. You know why? Because when you want to block George Wilson, you cannot block George Wilson. Why? Because George Wilson is one of the bloggers. He's a hacker to our page. So first of all, we know that George Wilson is not your real name. And secondly, we know that George Wilson... Is a fake profile. Why you don't come out and be real and be yourself and stop hacking onto people's page to disrupt people's life? You, George Wilson, I mean, know that that's not your real name. That's your alias. You are a hacker because if you are not a hacker, you see, let me show you a simple example and, and I, I'll, I'll just draw an example with this person here. I'll draw an example with this person. I'll, I'll use somebody as an example. You see, um, Miss Muhammad, if I were to go on to Miss Muhammad and block, I could actually put the mouse by Miss Muhammad, see Miss Muhammad's profile picture. Um, when she asks to be a friend, you could go on to the three dots where Miss Muhammad is. And if I want to block Miss Muhammad, I could block Miss Muhammad. I cannot block you, George Wilson. Because you are a hacker. You are a fake person. You understand? And your other partner realized that I was going and pay him up. Show video, show some pictures of the kind of spirit that this fella following. And you know, all of a sudden, he came back on the page again. I screenshot it already. So, from the time he realized, yeah, just like Richard, from the time Richard realized, oh, shocks, Google, Google onto me. He don't come back again. So George Wilson, I'm not a clown. I'm not stupid, as you may perceive us to be on this radio station. Right, George Wilson? You are a hacker. And I'm putting it out there. And it's a fact. Because as, as I look to put the mouse right by your name, it's not even allowing me to go into your profile. The three dots that there is there on the other side, if I click on it, it's not even allowing me to block your stupid statements. So you are a hacker. I really, and I couldn't wait to say it today, you know, because my technician and I, we will have been observing you for a while, Mr. George Wilson. You understand? And you come on and you want to question people, whoever sent you, your agents, that send you to come on this page and disrupt our show, we find you out. You are a hacker. Right. Had to put it there. Let you know. We see you for who you are. And the other one, there was another one, you know, I want to see, let me see if I have his thing saved. There was another guy who used to come on racist statements, hate speech, and every time you go to block him, you can't block him. As if somebody who managing the page put you as, a, as, as something, but then we realize it's not that. It's that you all are hackers. 
coming on with fake profile. Right? So I see you for who you are. Let me go back to the um uh, to try and find that voice note. That yeah, from from Watchman. Good day, Pastor Google. Pastor Google, if Dr. Rowley in his seventies and he making twins still, that a we to be go boy. He back get. Eh, eh. You just cut off my voice note, I just say. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, Pastor Google. Right. Yeah, ma. That video, that video they're talking about. They talk about the the, 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 the the woman. The woman they know the woman the woman and woman is a married woman and they call the woman who has born also, you know. And it's apparently like the prime minister know the person is very, very good. You understand? And um and that store. That store is a store, it's a little parlor business, but apparently they went to buy French robbers or something like that. In that in that, in that store because you're staying within the share in the conquer or whatever good news they have, they have this title. You see the lady going inside the bag and take out and eat. And everybody know that that, that is the Prime Minister. You can see clearly that, that that is the Prime Minister. Who is the so, Prime Minister that went in, the shop, went in the shop to shoplift? I, yeah. I don't hear you. All right, sir. You know clearly. You know Ole wasn't seeing Anil Roberts. Ole could see clearly that that was the Prime Minister. But when it was Anil Roberts, Ole wasn't seeing clearly. Ole could see clearly now. It's amazing, you know, how Ole could see clearly now that that was Dr. Rowley. But when it was Anil Roberts, Ole wasn't seeing clearly at all. Anil hit Ole a 2 by 4 a 6 for 9 and tell Ole, Hey, what's going on? Um, it wasn't me. Right? It wasn't me. And only know now that this person here is the Prime Minister. Wow. It's amazing, you know. It's amazing. It's, uh, it, it, is, it amazes me. It amazes me. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Pastor Google. Well, one of the things that they're underwriting you with, that is the reason why they call you Google. Because you will be able to discover them. And for that caller, not only he alone couldn't recognize Anna Roberts, the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Kamala B. Sessa, couldn't recognize it was Arnold Roberts. My little nephew knew it was Arnold Roberts because I and Arnold was real partners. I don't know if you know that, Google. And one of the things that Miss Marchand is hiding away from coming home to life sport over four hundred million dollars. These scholars and them are joking. They didn't know it was Daniel Roberts, but you know that is what we but we want to tell you. In case you don't know about Annie Roberts, ask for a thing. And you're gonna know about Annie Roberts. Yeah? So don't come with that at all. Google, go make it danger up there. Bamboo King, only come and say, where the Prime Minister tell him and say, we were telling the Prime Minister the disrespectfulness about him. And not until Google, he apologized to the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, telling them that children were on the court in containers with their heads shaven, ready to be shipped out under human trafficking. I want them to sue it if what I'm saying is wrong here. You want to bet you can't? Because we know he was a talk show host in Power 102. Google, you can't remember that? Google. Yeah, Mr. Go, Spain, remember? No, go, go ahead, you make it, make it, because I have callers holding on, remember that? All right. When he told Trinidad and Tobago that children 
third was shaven from reliable sources, ready to be shipped out of Trinidad and Tobago. When Miss Alan Child Lamy was missing, she was included in. It was not truth. It was containers that brought money to Trinidad and Tobago. He never apologized to the citizen of Trinidad and Tobago. But he had Gary Griffith on his program saying that he could throw wrong his government. Google, thank you very much. I await Watchman to come out now. I want Gary Griffith to respond to the questions. Thank you very much. All right. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, Pastor. Hi. How are you? God bless him. Pastor Google, they're trying to deflect because we know as a people, let me we, let we don't pretend, Pastor Google, when the report come out, shock warn us, and certain places in South, the men them going into prostituting with young girls as young as 12 years old. They are beating their wife in South and Central, putting them out. And only Benny's, when you drive to the areas, it's only Benny's the men walk, walking with because they have low sex and self-esteem. You understand? They want to talk about Dr. Rowley, so he cannot go in a parlor now. He cannot go in a shop now. He cannot go nowhere. You know why? Because they subscribe to pedophilism. They are pedophiles, all of them. Get up. Captain to cook. The whole party is pedophiles. Thank you. No, you can't say the whole party. Come on. Don't, don't do that. Don't do me that. Please, don't do me that. And look, right? The views of the caller is not the views of the street now on 9 FM. Please, please. Let's be mindful of what we're saying. The views expressed are not necessarily the views of the management of the street. 919 FM. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, go to Mr. Google. You see what we have against in a small town island? It's like a horror house we up against. You open my room, you see people jogging coffee. You open my room, you see people backing, people with, with charges on their head. You open my next room, is a, is a people flying helicopter, chasing and going down at me. You open my next room, you meet a man lying. You see what we very up against thousands of people. Guarding this, this, this our house, you That is what Trinidadians up against. That is what Trinidadians come to. You understand? It's a horror house you up against. Every, I'm, 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 I mean, the people that have a little, politicians have a little up and down and square, square up. But not like this, not this, like how we reach in these times, boy. See, that's a very serious thing. You see a man dragging coffee to one person doing this and the back in them. What kind of people you, you, turn in? Because, caller, you know what it is, really, as, and I keep saying it, and I'll keep saying it every day, because we forget. We allow them to do us this. you telling me you have, we, we are allowing people with no sort of, 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 um, we, we forget that these were the people we had live sport. We have room 201. We had, People threatening um um radio radio DJ radio DJ getting get, nearly getting murdered on 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 um on on Lady Young. We forgetting all these things, you know. We forgetting all these things. We forget that 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 this lady stood up in Parliament and said all sort of things about life sport. Boy, watch me. I mean, you see any people who are good, respectful, like they have dignity. I mean, we've reached two. Which are that reaching to? But the, but where's the best of our house? We have to get rid of this our house. We start telling people that it's a serious thing. And like every year, it's a different horror. It's a different room of horror that they, they open up. These people and them have children on, on, on the world map looking bad, my friend. Bad, real bad. My friend, have a good day. Thank you very much. Have any call a holding on there? Let me see. Yes, I think so. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I have two things to tell you. One, you want to know why all this attention is being paid to Annie Roberts, who has so many questions. The answer. 
and to account to the people of this country yes. for what went on with lies for you know, four hundred million dollars that went up in smoke. That is why Carapo is what it is today. You see? The quiet village of Carapo by the racetrack. That is why it is what it is today. And let me tell you why Annie Roberts has that kind of latitude to do what he continues to do. Continue with his nastiness in this country. Let me tell you why. One, since 2016, six years now, Watson Duke has been charged with four counts of rape. Has he made a court appearance? Has anything happened since then? Nope. Nothing. 2017, Ram Logan and Ram being charged with perverting in the court of justice and corruption. Five years. Anything since then? Mm. Nothing. Nothing. That is why we are where we are today. And as far as Griffith is concerned, I would like to know if we do not have former police commissioners alive in this country. I want to know if Stephen Williams is dead, Trevor Paul, um, James Philbert, Edward Snag. Why is it that the media seem to be going to Gary Griffith all the time to discuss police matters? Why? What makes him so different and so special? Why don't they, do they not approach former, other former police commissioners? They have about four other fellas who were commissioners. Why Griffith alone? It means that the media have taken a position in support of Griffith. And the fact that Griffith's picture is in the papers every day, questioning every single thing that goes on with the police service and in this country, it tells you that quietly, or not so quietly, the media really pushing a kind of pro-Griffith head. They're taking up his fire rage. They feel sorry for him. They feel he should be back as police commissioner. That is the reason why he's given this big profile. Every day after this morning, it's picture in the paper, something with sort of in this mantle. But every single thing you're going to tell me, you have at least four former commissioners alive, and not one of them is ever approached to give a comment on things that are going on in the police service. How, how is that? It means that the media, all three newspapers, all three daily newspapers, they have a particular agenda, which is very, very, very clear to right-thinking people in Trinidad and Tobago. It's very clear. Why only this former commissioner, who by the way was a contract officer, how come the career, the former career police commissioners are never called upon for an opinion? They are career policemen who started as constables and come right up to commissioner. How come their views are never solicited by the media? Why only Griffith? Griffith was a commissioner for three years and a policeman for three years. Why is he so different and so special? Why is he given such such exemplary treatment? Something is wrong. And what is wrong is that the media is holding a brief for Gary Griffith. They support him. And they feel that keeping him, keeping the, keeping him on the front burner all the time will also keep this thing about Mary Cliff and Dr. Rowley's name on the front burner to blacken the name of this government and Dr. Rowley. That is why they're doing it, you know. That is the reason for doing it. Once you see Griffith, the idea is once you see Griffith's picture, you see Dr. Rowley's picture. Because Dr. Rowley, let's make no bones about it. Dr. Rowley is the person whom they have accused of being a president's house of that merit. Is. So the, the media is keeping the chalice burning by having Griffith's picture there all the time. Even, even a, 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 a junkard in Port of Spain could see what is being done here with, with this this complete focus on Gary Griffith every day in the paper. Let me let some other callers call in. Thanks for the opportunity to speak in this afternoon. Thank you very much. And I wanted I wanted I want to say this. Go on the live, you know, because listen to this. We, you you this lady we I, I can't un, I can't understand us, you know, as Trinidadians. I want to play something for you now. I want you all to listen to it. That's why I said to you all the time that you all us forget. You all us forget. You all us forget. And you all us forgive too fast. Listen to this. How the hell Anne Roberts could talk to me? How? In which, which, which world? Which life? 
Listen to this. The controversial live sport program has been immediately terminated. The decision was announced by the Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Basasa in the lower house on Friday. As Peter Christopher explains, Mrs. Prasad Basasa expressed great disappointment that the program supplemented crime as opposed to suppressing it. Because of the actions of a few, this program will have to be halted. But the announcement made by Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Basasa after revealing some of the findings of an audit report conducted on the live sport program. The report, which was done in the wake of media reports which raised serious questions about contracts which were handed out by the program, confirmed major discrepancies. The revelations read out like a rap sheet. Now listen to Ms. Bessessa reading out things about a program from her government with Anil Roberts as the minister. The same Anil Roberts who too when he was accused of, 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 of being a minister governing a program that had questions that have that had questions to answer. No, when <laughs> you hear him now saying, who is the minister? And who is the minister? And you sit, we allow a media house, media houses. To shove this down our throat. Listen to how read out like a raffle sheet. The things that took place on that live sport. Will you leave me alone, eh? The review, <clears throat> as contained in the report, has revealed a number of discrepancies which include the following. Procurement breaches. Procurement breaches. A deviation from the mandates of cabinet. Hmm. The involvement of some persons in criminal activities. What? The involvement of some persons in criminal activities? Fraud by suppliers. Fraud? Fraud? And you are listening to this man? Theft of equipment. Theft of equipment? Breaches of the Proceeds of Crime Act and poor control and monitoring <clears throat> by officers of the ministry. The Prime Minister said she was disappointed that the program, which was developed to turn youngsters away from the law of criminal activities, instead became a hub for such activities. What? And this man is in our Senate? She, who read out a raffle sheet of wrongdoing, has now brought him back in our Senate and then telling us and he want to tell us that he is some sort of virtuous being that now appear into the political realm. I want to say it again. He wants to speak to us as though he is some virtuous being that now appear into our political world. And is saying to us, we can redeem you. With what? How? When? And this is where I must express my personal deep disappointment and dismay that a program that was intended to save lives, to build lives, was used by a group of people for fraud and personal gain. For fraud and personal gain. And she read it out in the parliament. And you know what happened? You all know what happened. I wonder if any of you remembered why she read it out and what happened why, when she, after she read it out. You know what? I'm sure half of you forgot. I am positive that if you ask you guys what happened to that issue after Ms. B. Sessa read it out in the parliament. This group of people derailed the good intentions of the program have in effect given their support to criminality in some cases rather than to our young people. The Prime Minister confirmed that the findings of the report conducted by the Audit Committee were serious enough to be forwarded to the Director of Public Prosecutions and the Acting Commissioner of Police. You hear that? You hear that? She was convinced, you know, that that report should be given to the DPP and to the Acting Commissioner of Police. But you know what, you and Tobago, you all forget. You all forgot. Further, I have accepted the recommendations of the Audit Committee. And in that regard, I have instructed the Honorable Attorney General 
to turn the report over to the Director of Public Prosecutions and the Commissioner of Police to investigate, detain and prosecute those guilty to the fullest extent of the law. The Prime Minister says the situation has also confirmed the need for new procurement measures to be established to avoid similar instances of corruption in the future. Peter Christopher, C. All right. I don't know, you know. I don't know. I don't know what to do again. I don't know what to do again. But turn on to Bigo. Questions? Turn on to Bigo. I don't know what to say, what to do again. But at the end of the day, that was done. That was done. And a lot of us have forgotten. A lot of us have forgotten. And um, I could just do what I could do. You know what I mean? I could do what I I could just do what I could do. I don't know how many of you remember this. I will play another one. I'm gonna take some calls and I'll play another one. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Pastor Google. How are you? I am okay, sir. Well, boy, I'm not so happy now with what it is I see in and hearing going on. Now, well, we all remember that this was done so that it will prejudice the case. So that oh. he no, well, it has some people who forget that. It has some people who wouldn't say that. Thank God, God gave me a little bit of elephant in me. That I could remember all kind of things from long time ago. Because this is what these people have been doing. And I have a real problem with the judiciary of this country. Where they keep allowing cases, especially cases involving UNC members, to lapse. For years up to now, we can't hear what the end of S and Stevens. And we see the daughters and them getting contract. People who not even into construction getting contract to build wall around their own family land, I may add. But we just forget all that is okay. Them thing is okay. And this gentleman now talking to us about prostitution with the Venezuelan. When who it is was in room 201, somebody tell me. I want somebody to remind me who it was in room 201 that the goodly lady couldn't identify. And if you don't ask a little child going to primary school, they would have known who it was. But as the man said, no voodoo, no video, can't move him. But Pastor Google, I don't know if it is, you will take this investigation on. It is a dangerous one, but I wanted to investigate if any of the monies that was missing in life sport found its way all the way to the east, in the Middle East to be more exact. Find out that. And then we have a fella who wanted to go up. And he's still in parliament. Just be talking and bumping the guns. The same man who it is that run from the Middle East. I wanted to find out if some of the money from mm -hmm. life sport went there. All right. Thank you. Thanks, man. Somebody asking me on YouTube, Pastor or oh, Google, didn't Kamala deal with it as it should? No, she didn't. Because when we were sitting here asking if the file went to the DPP, because she said that. She said that the file, she was going to send it to the DPP. The DPP had no file. The DPP had no file in front of him. None. She did with nothing. She did with it here. Make it as the caller say, sub Judici. Let me go with this one. Remember this one? Everybody talking about video with Dr. Rowley. Anybody could remember this video? Join money live, you know. Anybody could remember this video? You're not serious, now. Nah? Anybody could remember this video? Nobody can remember this video. This video outdated. Can you remember who was in the video?
So, you can remember that video. That video, nah, man, there is old news. That ain't real. Thing ain't real. Them stories fake. You understand? Stories fake. But wait to listen to this. This is what we want to, and let me tell you something, eh? When you listen to the man's demeanor and his disposition, that's what they want as a leader, boy. That's what they want him. This is what they want as a leader. Look what they want as a leader. Listen to what they want as a leader. Listen to this man talk to talk. And this is what they want to know. The opposition PNM can come with what they want, but Sport Minister Anna Roberts says he will not be phased. His comments came one day after a video framing what is alleged to be a government minister surfaces. The video has since been making the rounds on popular social media sites. However, speaking with members of the media after today's post-cabinet media briefing, Minister Roberts quickly trained his guns at the newly re-elected PNM political leader. Let me tell you and let me tell the nation and especially Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley, the minority leader of the PNM, no video. No music video, no video game, or no voodoo could ever stop me from letting the population know that Dr. Keith Rowley is the worst thing that could possibly happen to Trinidad and Tobago. I he then directed his attention to the Diego Martin West MP about his interests in recent procurements that were recently discussed in Parliament. Because eight weeks ago in the Parliament, when I brought it out that Dr. Keith Rowley had an interest since April 28, 2000 in the NGC Wasa wastewater plant worth $1 billion. The video shows a person who resembles and sounds like the Dabadi O'Mara MP in a hotel room with two women handling what appears to be a narcotic. Len Amadin Thornhill, Senior. <laughs> Good afternoon, caller. Good afternoon, Pastor Google. Hey, Uncle Stelly, what's happening? I get quiet and humble, peace and blessings. And blessings for the day towards because I really don't celebrate them things. I just say blessings to you and your family for this day, Pastor Google. And Pastor Google, as I keep saying, we problem in Trinidad and Tobago. As you rightfully say earlier on, we as a people, as I tell you, we are just here, but we do not listen past our Google. So as they will call me, a nine days wonder in Trinidad and Tobago. That is why kingdoms go free in Trinidad and Tobago, past our Google. And past our Google, the problem I say again in Trinidad and Tobago is the so-called media. We have in Trinidad and Tobago, Pastor Google, why things just go how it ha want to go and how it goes, Pastor Google. Because the media in Trinidad and Tobago, they, 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 Every Monday morning, if the Prime Minister say you have a press conference, they're up in his face. They want to push my dumb throat. Yeah. But so many things happen here in 2020, 2010 to 2015. And the so-called media we have in Trinidad and Tobago, who call themselves media? I don't know what kind of media they call themselves. That's why I don't listen to news. I don't buy papers in Trinidad and Tobago. I prefer getting the news from foreign than getting the news local in Trinidad and Tobago. Because I said, a proton we have as media in Trinidad and Tobago. They give you what they want and they give you what they don't want you to know in Trinidad and Tobago. That is why we in this mess, you know, Pastor Google. That is why we in this mess, 
with the people who call the said media people. I don't know why they leave that rock and go and dig concrete or dig dark somewhere about and leave the nation at, at peace because there is the ones causing all the problems we have in, in Trinidad and Tobago, Pastor Google. Pastor Google, sorry for taking up your time, but peace and blessings. Be safe on the nation's road from your peace. Thanks again, Pastor Google, for the time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Pastor Google. Good afternoon. You know, a caller made the judiciary you are the court. You understand? Six years now, the only people who suffer is the victim. The only people who suffer is the victim. That six years with Mr. Watson, that woman is suffering. And she wouldn't get her death within four years. Mr. Ram Logan and Gerald Ram come into court, according to the, to the caller. The judiciary, like in making sure that this high profile, quote unquote, and he's never come and said their charges. And I have a public impact. Thank you very much. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. All right, you're not there. All right, so it has somebody on the live keep telling me about who, um, um, what it is? Somebody on, the, on YouTube saying because his name was cleared. I want to play something for you to listen to. Hello, good afternoon. How are you? I am okay. How are you? I said, you know, I'm going to go out just now. I'm, I'm waiting on the watchman, watchman, um, Christian. Oh, I'm well, trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. Okay. All right. All right. Good. Thank you. Hello. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, Pastor Hugo. Good afternoon. Um, yeah, my, my, my P was in 2015, 2016, when the PNM has won the election. Now they're in government for seven this is going on seven years, right? Mm -hmm. Now if 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 I just say if that big quotation mark, if they cannot bring these cases to closure within their period of ten years, that means they have failed the population, which was expecting. Is, is it they that so fail this, or or just now? Just now, just now, just now, just now. Just now. Uh -huh. Remember you're working with a judiciary. A judiciary. All right, a court system that everybody, most of the callers, right, are the ones that are seeing that the courts are the place that these things have to be tried out. Isn't it so? The government is in control of the courts? Hold on, hold on. Under, in 2010 to 2015, when they moved section 34, the should be case from, from the extradition with special Steve, who was in power at that time? You tell me. And with Alan Roberts' case, why it hasn't reached why, why, why did, why did, why Kamala and them shift the clauses to deem it persona non grata when it wasn't delivered to the, to the DPP? Because they were in charge, they had the power and they shift to suit their, their agenda. And if this, this government, government, wait, if, and if government, this government, if this government was to do that, were you saying there, you think it would be right? For justice for the people? No, 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 no. For yeah, but for you, the could, population? you could say that. You, you would say that. But you really think that. Um, the government putting its hand, and that's why the biggest match that we have ever seen under Dr. Rowley at that time would have been against Section 34, against the government putting its hand into the, the, the justice system. Yeah, but it is alleged, and they have been accused of corruption, and they have been given the chance to, to defend themselves in the court. You haven't seen that, right? The case hasn't called in the courts of justice in Trinidad. They keep going off, going off, and as a matter of fact, it is my view that between now and 2025, you will never get a case coming up in the courts because of the system, right? They need, to, they need, as a matter of fact, the AG and them need to deal with, with, the, with the judiciary, with the, with the, um, no, no, that is up, no, no, in the sense of, no, you can't say deal with, because again, remember our democracy hang, um, hangs upon the independence of the judiciary. Anytime government appears to be dictating the pace of the judiciary, people are now going to start to say, you see, 
they really have been dragging just now remember they would say that they have been dragging a coffin around saying that democracy is dead hold on hold on if you watch around the world right where the country has has, has gotten full full status the third world and developing countries have gotten full full status it, it didn't come just so it comes because the people was against what everything the government tried to do they get in opposition so damn you do damn you do do as a matter of fact it are ways and means that doing things right to get the justice system going because it, it's not only the people suffering you know you have a lot of innocent people and guilty people waiting on their day in court mm -hmm. so let's put the system in place where across the board it will work for everybody everybody will see the justice system working because you can't tell me in 2016 to 2025, we cannot get these cases. To, we, can, we can't get closure on these cases. And you're in power. All right. Thank How you much years is it? It's 20-something years it's going on. It's going on 22 years. Thank you very much, Kola. Hello, good afternoon. Ooh, that phone line. Wow. It's not even clear just yet. That's according to the Attorney General, Faris al Rawi, as he addressed issues with the live sport Alan Roberts is not in the clear just yet. This according to the Attorney General Faris al Rawi as he addressed issues with the live sport audit. A day after the audit report was thrown out in the High Court and the former sport minister re-emerged on the UNC platform. Ian Wayson has more. Justice Mira Dina Mora had no choice but to quash the report into live sport. This is the view held by Attorney General Faris al Rawi as he spoke during a media conference at his new office in Richmond Street. He explained the former Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bissessa laid the report in the Parliament in 2014, thereby compromising the report. And it is therefore something of public scorn that Mrs. Prasad Bissessa seems to have done something which very purposefully would have avoided a report standing in the public domain. And as I sat and I thought about this, I said to myself, this is a Section 35. He added, the presumed vindication by the opposition leader of Anil Roberts, who is tipped to return to the parliament, is premature. Trinidad, I can confirm to you that the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service has certified that there is an ongoing investigation into the life sport matter, and that investigation is continuing. Mr. Arwawi explained while the report had been quashed, there is still material for investigations to continue because we have the evidence, because we have the substance, because we have the invoices that were overbilled and doubled up, because we would have all of the material which the report would have simply said, look. Mr. Alwawi claims, while serving as the Prime Minister, Mrs. Passant Bissessa allegedly passed the report to the head of the public service, who incidentally happened to be Creed, who was also named in the report. He said nothing was done with the report until Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley came into office. Ian Wayson for C News. So, to the person who was messaging me and telling me that um, he was this and that and the next, I hope you understood now. All right? So, I have to go. Can I get ready to hand over to the VNR show? Again, let me wish everyone a uh, happy Valentine's, you know, and hope that you spend the day with your loved one or your loved ones the way you really want to. All right? I'll leave this song with you. I will leave you with this song. All right, I'm going to leave you with this song. I hope that you enjoy it. <laughs> 